H1 antagonists, also called H1 blockers, are a class of medications that block the action of histamine at the H1 receptor, helping to relieve allergic reactions. Agents where the main therapeutic effect is mediated by negative modulation of histamine receptors are termed antihistamines. Other agents may have antihistaminergic action but are not true antihistamines. In common use, the term antihistamine refers only to H1 antihistamines. Virtually all H1 antihistamines function as inverse agonists at the histamine H1 receptor, as opposed to neutral antagonists, as was previously believed. Pharmacology In type 1 hypersensitivity allergic reactions, an allergen, a type of antigen, interacts with and cross-links surface IgE antibodies on mast cells and basophils. Once the allergen cross-links immunoglobulin E, tyrosine kinases rapidly signal into the cell, leading to cell degranulation and the release of histamine and other chemical mediators from the mast cell or basophil. Once released, the histamine can react with local or widespread tissues through histamine receptors. Histamine, acting on H1 receptors, produces pruritus, vasodilation, hypotension, flushing, headache, bradycardia, bronchoconstriction, increase in vascular permeability and potentiation of pain. While H1 antihistamines help against these effects, they work only if taken before contact with the allergen. In severe allergies, such as anaphylaxis or angioedema, these effects may be of life-threatening severity. Additional administration of epinephrine, often in the form of an auto-injector is required by people with such hypersensitivities. Clinical use of H1 antihistamines Indications H1 antihistamines are clinically used in the treatment of histamine-mediated allergic conditions. These indications may include allergic rhinitis, allergic conjunctivitis, allergic dermatological conditions, contact dermatitis, rhinorrhea, runny nose, urticaria, angioedema. Diarrhea, pruritus, atopic dermatitis, insect bites, anaphylactic or anaphylactoid reactions, adjunct only, nausea and vomiting, sedation. First generation H1 antihistamines. H1 antihistamines can be administered topically through the skin, nose, or eyes, or systemically, based on the nature of the allergic condition. The authors of the American College of Chest Physicians Updates on Cough Guidelines 2006 recommend that for cough associated with the common cold first-generation antihistamine decongestants are more effective than newer, non-sedating antihistamines. First-generation antihistamines include diphenhydramine, Benadryl, carbonoxamine, Clistin, Clemistine, Tavist, Chlorpheniramine, Chlortrimetin, and Bromphenyramine, Dimetane. However, a 1955 study of antihistaminic drugs for colds, carried out by the U.S. Army Medical Corps, reported that there was no significant difference in the proportion of cures reported by patients receiving oral antihistaminic drugs and those receiving oral placebos. Furthermore, essentially the same proportion of patients reported no benefit from either type of treatment. Adverse drug reactions Adverse drug reactions are most commonly associated with the first-generation H1 antihistamines. This is due to their relative lack of selectivity for the H1 receptor and their ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. The most common adverse effect is sedation, this side effect is utilized in many OTC sleeping aid preparations. Other common adverse effects in first-generation H1 antihistamines include dizziness, tinnitus, blurred vision, euphoria, incoordination, anxiety, increased appetite leading to weight gain, insomnia, tremor, nausea and vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, and dry cough. 
Infrequent adverse effects include urinary retention, palpitations, hypotension, headache, hallucination, and psychosis. The newer, second generation H1 antihistamines are far more selective for peripheral histamine H1 receptors and have a better tolerability profile compared to the first generation agents. The most common adverse effects noted for second generation agents include drowsiness, fatigue, headache, nausea, and dry mouth. First generation, non selective, classical. These are the oldest H1 antihistaminergic drugs and are relatively inexpensive and widely available. They are effective in the relief of allergic symptoms, but are typically moderately to highly potent muscarinic acetylcholine receptor anticholinergic antagonists as well. These agents also commonly have action at alpha adrenergic receptors and or 5-HT receptors. This lack of receptor selectivity is the basis of the poor tolerability profile of some of these agents, especially when compared with the second-generation H1 antihistamines. Patient response and occurrence of adverse drug reactions vary greatly between classes and between agents within classes. Classes The first H1 antihistamine discovered was piperoxin, by Ernest Forno and Daniel Bovet, 1933, in their efforts to develop a guinea pig animal model for anaphylaxis at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. Bovet went on to win the 1957 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his contribution. Following their discovery, the first-generation H1 antihistamines were developed in the following decades. They can be classified on the basis of chemical structure, and agents within these groups have similar properties. Common structural features Two aromatic rings, connected to a central carbon, nitrogen or CO, spacer between the central X and the amine, usually two to three carbons in length, linear, ring, branched, saturated or unsaturated. Amine is substituted with small alkyl groups, e.g., CH3X. N, R1. R2. Small alkyl groups X. CX equals CO Chirality at X can increase both the potency and selectivity for H1 receptors For maximum potency, the two aromatic rings should be orientated in different planes For example, tricyclic ring system is slightly puckered and the two aromatic rings lie in different geometrical planes, giving the drug a very high potency Second generation and third generation, selective, non sedating. Second generation Second generation H1 antihistamines are newer drugs that are much more selective for peripheral H1 receptors as opposed to the central nervous system H1 receptors and cholinergic receptors. This selectivity significantly reduces the occurrence of adverse drug reactions, such as sedation, while still providing effective relief of allergic conditions. The reason for their peripheral selectivity is that most of these compounds are zwitterionic at physiological pH, around pH 7.4. As such, they are very polar, meaning that they do not cross the blood-brain barrier and act mainly outside the central nervous system. However, some second-generation antihistamines, notably cetirizine, can interact with CNS psychoactive drugs such as bupropion and benzodiazepines. Examples systemic Astomizole, hismanol, Catodophan, zatitor Cetirizine, Zyrtec Loratidine, Claritin Rupotidine, Rupifin, Mizolastin, Mizolin, Acrobostine, Benadryl Allergy Relief, UK, Semprex, US, Avastine, Avastin, Kestine, Avastol, Aleva, Ebatrol, Bilistine, Bilaxtin, Bepitastin, Talion, Bpreve, Terfenidine, Seldane, US, Trilodin, UK, and Teldane, Australia. Quifenidine, Fencarol, Fencarol topical. 
Azalastine, Levicavastine, Levostin, Olopatidine, Pazio. Third generation. Third generation H1 antihistamines are second generation antihistamines informally labeled third generation because the active enantiomer levocetirazine or metabolite desloratadine and fexofenadine derivatives of second generation drugs are intended to have increased efficacy with fewer adverse drug reactions. Fexofenadine is associated with a lower risk of cardiac arrhythmia compared to terfenadine. However, there is little evidence for any advantage of levocetirazine or desloratadine, compared to cetirazine or loratadine, respectively. There is some controversy associated with the use of the term third generation antihistamines. Examples Systemic Levocetirazine, Desloratadine, Fexofenadine, Allegra. Regulation Over-the-counter H1 receptor antagonists that are approved for over-the-counter sale, at least in the United States, include First generation, sedating Common, marketed Bromphenyramine, dimetap, dimetane Chlorphenyramine, chlortrimetan Diamond hydronate, dramamine, gravel, combination of diphenhydramine and 8 chlorothiophylline, diphenhydramine, benadryl, doxylamine, unisom, uncommon, discontinued, chlorcyclazine, dexbrofeniramine, dexchlorfeniramine, methapyrylene, phenandamine. Phenyramine Phenyltaloxamine Pyrilamine Vinyldiamine Thonzolamine Triprolidine Second generation, non-sedating Cetirazine, Zyrtec Loratidine, Alivert, Claritin Third generation, non-sedating Desloratadine, Clarinex, Fexofenadine, Allegra, Levocetirazine, Zizel. References External links Antihistaminics, plus H1 at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, MESH